following program is brought to you by Real Tree Edge. Hunt with an edge. Real Tree Edge. Welcome to the Virtue Hunt Camp here in Arnold, Nebraska, here at Hidden Valley Outfitters. It's a little bit breezy at night. It's the third evening of our hunt, and today is a Labor Day. We're on an old sad daddy here that we had on the Cobra Trail cameras. I'm telling you right now, we, you know, wouldn't it be just something to shoot a big one on Labor Day? I was sitting there trying to think if I ever shot one on Labor Day, and I may have, but I can't think of it. I think we just smoked a freaking sad daddy, buddy. Let me get on cover. I think we just honored the ritual, baby. Freaking stud. Sorry about that, but this. this is what it's all about. Virtue hunt camp. Respect the game. Carbon TV. Lord Jesus. Raptor trick. You, I'm telling you, that is the finest broadhead ever. He's went down or something tumble. Look at this. Well, he's went down, and then there's blood right there. Oh, Lord, look at this. He's hit something. What? And heck, he's done something. Done a no, right one. there, right in front of you. There he is, buddy. Look at that velvet. My first big velvet buck. He's bigger than I thought he was. And yes, we did get a pass through, my friend. Oh, son. Look at this son of a buck. Holy cow. Oh, full velvet. I've never taken a full velvet buck. And look at that. Look at the body. September the 3rd, and I have shot bucks on that day. But today is Labor Day. I gotta kiss my breath. Just give me one, one minute here with the good Lord. Lord, thank you. Larry, buddy, that is a, look at the brow tines. And you know how I am about brow tines. What a fanatic.
He's a bruiser. He's a giant. He's a monster. He's bigger than Holy crap, it's awesome. He's got blood there. Right there. Unbelievable. Look at this. Look at the mask. Look at the extra. <laughs> Holy crap. Praise Jesus. <laughs> and you wonder why he went so far. He's huge. Dude, you dotted him. He's huge. Pinwheeled him. Look at that pig. Oh, Are you guys freaking yeah. kidding me? Look at that buck, man. Oh my gosh. You're right, he did have extra eye guard. Yeah, it He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. That's eleven in Georgia. <laughs> Twelve, little point there. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen total. I mean I don't even know what to I don't even know what a deer like this scores. What is he? He's big. I don't even care. I can promise you one thing, it'll be the biggest deer killed on the strip with a bow this year. We had football practice tonight and it got canceled. We had some rain earlier. We can, we can tighten them up when we get in the blind. All right, come on, got to go. All right, bud, let's get, let's go. Tell you, it's kind of cooling down, Coke. Got that rain coming in a little bit. See how wet the ground is. Coach, we're going to ease up here in case there's any deer out here. Push them off the golf cart and we'll put everything in the blind. I'm going to come back here and park. I'm going to go ahead and put the, everything in the blind when I come back. All right, come on. Hey, hey, Coke, let me get you a carry of this. Hey, leave that there. You come on in, let me go get everything parked. We didn't ever make it to practice. They called practice. So we made a beeline up here. We're getting into this blind really late, uh, right at 7 o'clock. We only have about an hour. But this deer's been coming in around 7.30, hasn't he? 7.45. What is he? A seven-pointer. Huh? A seven-pointer. I know, the big seven. Yeah. And he's got one on his horns. She's still in velvet. Yep. Let's get the big seven.
Good shot, Coke. Good shot. Don't you see? Good job, buddy. That, that is the big seven. That thing is huge. It was big. Hey, you see inside of his body? Oh my gosh, bud. I think you, I think you nailed it. I think it was a perfect shot. Been looking for this deer and he didn't go that far. Just went some okay. thick stuff, didn't he? It was so thick in here we couldn't see. So. I, we had to round up the troops, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, Colton. <laughs> Colton, 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 Colton. And what a shot. Colton, that deer is that, go around the side. That deer is absolutely huge. Oh, let me go over here by you. Here, move down just a little bit and I'll, I'll pick up his head. And what a shot. Oh my goodness, now he's in velvet. This Be is, with him. I have only got one velvet deer in my whole life. Colton, that is a stud. Hold that up. That is an absolute stud right there. All right, you tell me what you're thinking. Did you get nervous? Yeah. Like, were you real nervous <laughs> out down there? But it doesn't look like it. You made a good shot on him. You did. But the rack, look at the tine length and the mass of that sucker has. Isn't that velvet? Feel that velvet, Colton. Isn't that cool? You know, we were just with uh, Roger and Philip and Brendan and everybody, <laughs> and Daniel, everybody that came out. I think the one of them said, I'm gonna tell you, it looks like a Kansas deer. Yeah. Midwest deer. Look at this look is look like it. a Midwest deer. What are you thinking? Congratulations. Thank you. Hey. Are you excited? Hey, I'm gonna hold are his we head. Getting this one mounted, you think? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. All right, I need I need a I need a favor. I need one you do one thing. Can you hug your guide? Huh? That's sweet. That is awesome. Hug your big brother. Congrats, buddy. That's cool. Colton, that's a stud, buddy. Well we saw the buck we've been hunting early this morning, probably three, four hundred yards away from us. And he went in that brush line, he may have bedded in there. We'll give him some time to get settled in there and then we'll just Easier way down, see if we can spot them and keep an eye on them. And so we have all day, we're just going to sit on this deer, just give them some time. Just hang tight here, we'll stay back a couple hundred yards from where we, that deer's bedded. And okay. Let the wind pick up, hopefully he'll he'll uh, get up and feed a little bit. And if he does go in the peas in bed, we can make a move on it. Otherwise, we're just going to have to probably build a little blind up here and, and wait for him to come back out. Okay, evening. perfect. We're just gonna put some of this, some of these limbs up here for cover. These, uh, there's just not a lot of cover right here at this fence post. Hopefully once these deer come out here, they won't be able to see us. Now it's just kind of a waiting game. We've been on this deer since 9.30 this morning. It's 5.30 now. So we have another, you know, three or four hours left of daylight. Hopefully, you know, these deer will start moving here in the next couple hours for the last three or four days just because it's been so hot, no wind. They've been moving late. There's a small, he's a four by four, probably 200 yards out. It's a young buck.
uh, oh my gosh. Y'all, we've been hunting hard for 11 days. And, uh, you know, we had a, a close encounter on the second day. And I'm just like, I'm almost in tears. I'm so shook up right now. I ranged him at 71 yards. I had a hard time getting a range out there in the brush, but <laughs> that, was, that was unbelievable. That was such a great hunt. Oh my gosh, we got it done. We're, we leave tomorrow. We go out of town tomorrow. We, we were supposed to leave last Saturday and uh, I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm speechless. There he is right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this deer. Look at that buck. Oh my goodness. Pretty nice deer, boy. What a great, great hunt. Absolutely Thank you for hunt. sticking with us. Wow, we uh, have had a long week here in Canada and you know, thought we were gonna get it done the second day. Had a great stalk. And we had saw this deer three days ago, stayed with him. You know, we leave tomorrow to go out of town uh, to go back home to Georgia. And we were able to get it done on the last day. <laughs> Thank you again. You're welcome, Padre. Thank you. It was a fun, fun time.